With fiber and textile hobbies back in style and booming, the Bainbridge Island Museum of Art has a whole weekend devoted to the art form. Fiber Fest kicks off tomorrow, and here to tell us all about it is Kristen Tollefson. It's good to see you. Mm, good to see you, too. Thanks How did for this festival us. come together? We had a tremendous success last year with a festival in advance of an ex exhibition at the museum. Um, it was the Dog Ear Festival before the Book Arts Fest the exhibit. And um, we decided that it would be a great launch for this wonderful fiber comprehensive, we're calling it Fiber 2020. So um, we will have vendors and demonstrations, workshops, we'll have a free screening of a documentary film, panel discussion, so lots of ways for people to come and interface with the idea of fiber. Which is good because we're all looking for something to do that's kind of zen, a de-stressing, yeah. and there are lots of art forms that we can learn about. Tell me about the where the community pop-up will be. So the museum is converted for the weekend. The upstairs gallery is where our fiber exhibition will be, and it mm -hmm. will be a soft opening for that exhibition. Downstairs in all of the gallery spaces in our auditorium will have the pop-up. So we'll have vendors, demos, um, all kinds of events going on, some live music even. Well, that sounds fun. Yeah. Uh, can we be hands-on or is it mostly watching the demos and learning something that we would take away? A lot of it will be watching the demos unless people are enrolled in the two workshops. There's one workshop on Saturday that's full. Uh, Lou Cabine will be teaching an embroidery boot camp, Ooh, uh, which has fun. been yeah, very popular. Uh, there are a couple of spaces left for the sculptural wire working workshop that I will be teaching on Sunday afternoon from 1 to, one to 4. So Great. We'll um, hook people up with those yeah. links just in case. Let's talk about some of the things you brought today and I'm fascinated with these little things. What is this? Uh, these are um, little hand stitched. Uh, they are embroidered. Um, what do you call this shape? It is one of the shapes of those die that is a multifaceted die, oh. like a tetra. Can anybody think so. of it? <laughs> Tetrahedron, I think that's right. Um, See? But they are made. Derek knew. Yeah, they're Credit to Derek Koss. Hand stitched. That is really um, incredible. It is a piece by Maura Donegan called Three by Three. Mm -hmm. And um, all of these pieces will be shown together as as a comprehensive piece. So it's we're looking at, they're very lightweight. Phenomenal. Mm -hmm. what, what is this? Oh, this is an example of the wire work. I did, um, oh, whoops, sorry about that. There we go. Um, these little elements are um, the individual pieces that people will learn how to do mm -hmm. in the workshop. Like and a little tower. Yeah, or a basket if you invert if you it. it uh, it's way, a very yeah. simple technique called sumac, which is actually an ancient rug weaving technique. And, and also a delicious spice. Yes, it is. <laughs> um, all of these put together as simple elements construct a complex whole. So it's really wow. an introduction, but something that people can take and expand on on their own. Build however they might. Yeah. And tell us about this one. Uh, this is a hat by local milliner and felt artist Jean Hicks. And um, this is a wearable piece, and you can see it's on a head stand. Um, Jean's known for whimsical shapes and really thoughtful use of materials. She hand felts, wet felts, all of the fabric, and this one is made with merino and cashmere and a variety of other um, materials. It feels so, really good, and I'm yeah. fascinated with this. Um, you know, I brought an assortment of artwork because I wanted people to see the range of fiber work. This is Dorothy McGinnis. Uh, and these, this is watercolor paper that's been hand tinted and woven. This is kind of like a plating um, or a, like a tweed weave. So um, the common thread, no pun intended, for the fiber show is that a lot of the pieces are made as multiples or as repeated actions. So Which is also one of the ways we can be very zen, especially in this time. Yeah. Thank you so yeah. much. Fiber Fest has a number of events this weekend, including a pop-up art sale and artist demos. For more details, including the documentary, visit New Day's website, and we'll be right back.